Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Chassidus in the Morning, Kunshis at Tefillah, beginning chapter five, Perak Hay. Tracking away, we're going through this, we're doing a great job. Five more Prakim, and then we've gone through the whole Sefer. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Okay, so today we're going to discuss a very important topic. This is a fundamental topic that changes the whole understanding of Hasidus. And it's called Das. We discussed this in the first class. We discussed it yesterday a little bit. And I'll just reiterate it again because it's something that we have to understand well. That Das is about understanding an idea, not just intellectually, but, but emotionally connecting to it. And the simple, one of the examples you can use, and there's plenty of examples, and everyone should try to figure out the examples for themselves, is, is when you take, an, is, is the example of smoking, that in the 50s when smoking wasn't publicly, it wasn't public knowledge, not everyone knew that smoking is bad for you. And there was a doctor that he noticed that everyone that smoked, that came into his office, had a cough, also, had, also smoked. So he was like, oh, that's interesting. It's uh, interesting to notice that everyone that's coughing also smokes. Hmm, strange. So that's, that's sort of chachma. It's this idea, this flash of an idea. And so he decided to do some studying, like research into this. And he started doing a whole scientific study to the correlation between smoking and coughing. And he did this whole study. And that was Bina. That was studying it, really understanding it. And he came to the conclusion, he understood that, that the evidence showed that smoking is bad for you. And that's Bina. Das is a question of what, what does he do about it? Meaning, not necessarily did he stop smoking, unfortunately, because Das is about not just understanding something intellectually, but it's taking that intellectual understanding, but also connecting to it. It says it in Tanya, in the later chapters, Das is like a hergish, a feeling. Talk about it here as well a little bit. Das is when you feel the idea. It's not just you understand the idea. The under, you do understand it. It's not an emotion per se, but it's you connect with the idea in, in deep connection like you feel it. And, and that's sort of the goal of we learn chassidus. To not just understand the concepts and be able to repeat it like a robot, but to actually sense it, to feel it, to connect with it. And that's what we're going to discuss today. So let's see inside. Chab, uh, page 54 in the top, chapter five, the faculty of Das. In this chapter, the idea of Das, knowledge is defined, comprehensive understanding and perception that causes one to actually sense the concept's essence. Understand? So it's, it's comprehending and understanding a concept that causes one to sense it. So you, have to, you have to have this sense. Sense is like a feeling. To explain the matter further, as known regarding Das, and this is, order, this is how we have to learn the Chassidus. What's Das? Although it enables a person to bind himself to an idea or concept, and it is the way emotions are born, yet this is not its only function. So Das is not just that you can connect to the idea and, and, and it, gives, it gives birth to emotions. For Das is a distinct intellect. The third of the three cognitive faculties of the mind, as known, Das is the third, the and Das. The substance and essence of Das is the spiritual sense perception of a concept that it affords. Das ensures that a concept is more clearly felt and discerned. That, that by, with Das, you, you, you feel it more. <coughs> the intellectual idea is not just that it gives birth to emotions, but it helps you feel the idea. In other words, through attachment, meaning by firmly binding himself to what he comprehends, so through attaching, to connecting to what you're learning, and, and really, like we said before, giving mashalim that that are that relate that you can relate to, and through taking this idea of citizens, putting it in, put into examples that you can that, that you deal with, you attach yourself to it. A person can perceive and sense the concept's essence, and that can help you understand the tr the true essence of what we're trying to explain, what the chassidus or the maimer or whatever it is is trying to trying to tell you. As a result, his grasp of the idea is greatly enhanced. He can under his understanding is more comprehensive, encompassing a myriad of details. Yeah, he can understand it more and things like this. It is more penetrating. The concept becomes much more familiar to him, as explained earlier. On account of this, too, 
the emotions are simulated as we'll explain. And the whole, the whole experience is a much more profound and deep connected one. And, 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 and even more, you understand the moment a lot better. This sense perception is the essence of Das. And this is what essentially Das is. Um, to give like an example of, of that, like of how that worked, like the outcome of it is it happened to me that, that in Parak, uh, Parak Mem Aleph of Tanya, he says, he talks about that you have to have the Reisha, Reisha, Reisha Vayda Vikra the main and the first Ikra of, of his Sumei Rav, if he's turning away from bad and doing good. And this is what Israel al says. So it feels, um, yeah, you have to have a year you have to have constant fear. So, so if you don't understand so this properly, you think it seems to, it seems to be saying that you have to have fear. You have to be always in this constant mode of fear. But I said to myself, I was thinking about it, and I'm like, this doesn't really make much sense because I thought everything else I've understand, I've understood the Chassidus, you know, after understanding Chassidus a little bit, it's like meant to be to know Ava. So I, I said to myself, it must be that he's saying <clears throat> that it's not enough to have the Ava, like the natural mood, we have to love God and love serving God, but it's not enough. You have to also have this, this main foundation of having awe and respect and fear of God. And it's like, just like, it's, that, it's that's how I understood it. Like, it's like, it didn't make sense to me any other way. But like, I didn't say, and then I listened to a share once on, on Tanya and this guy was explaining exactly what I said. And he quoted it from a sikha from the Rebbe. Now I'm not a Tamil Chacham or something. I didn't learn the sikha, but, but because I was connected to the idea, I had this das. So then, then, then you understand it more fully. You know, whereas you don't have das, you just you take things at face value. You don't think about it too much. You don't really connect to it. So, yeah, you have to always be afraid. Like like people, like I have a, a guy I used to I ring a lot with every once in a while, and he like I'm trying to convince him like, so this is not bashing you over the head and saying you're a nobody and you're a loser. And he's like, and then and for a while he kept on trying to prove me from different places. And I said, I said it's not saying that. And I'd say, show me the sauce. Let me look at it, and I'll tell you. I'll show it to you. And why? Because I have the dust there, and that's what we're trying to achieve here. When we have the dust, we understand it a lot better. Yeah. Bottom of uh, 54, the child. For a person may understand something very well, yet he may not feel it. Just as an intelligent child who understands, whose understanding is broad, he still cannot sense the core of the matter. And for this reason, a child underst- under the age of 13 is not punishable by Jewish law. He may be astute, bright, and perceptive, and fully knowledgeable of all the regulations concerning the positive and negative commandments. Nevertheless, he's not liable for his transgressions of a mitzvah. Why? But he doesn't recognize or feel the, es- the essential aspect of the mitzvah. Meaning, and this is a very important point in Das, Das is a kids like by Das, they don't have a lot of Das. Not that they don't understand, they can be very smart and, and learn the whole Shukh and Arch and it can repeat it to you. But they don't, they're too young to appreciate it. It's like the story, that I had, uh, I was teaching a kid sports, and this is one. This is my personal das uh, story, and it's really connects with this. And I was teaching a kid, whatever, long story, and we're walking back, and he's holding a baseball bat, and I didn't want him to, but I was like, so I gave him some rules, make sure you hold it down. Ended off at a certain point, he's hitting it on the ground, trying to hear the different sounds that the bat made on different, uh, different concretes and stuff. And then at one point, there was a window next to us, and like a shop front window, and he hit. I think I told this when we just started the show. And he hit it. He hit the window with the bat. Baruch Hashem, it didn't break. And like we all freaked out. Everyone that saw it, the people in the store, I did, and the kid, my wife was there. So I, so I was like, what? Like, what? what are you doing? And he started explaining to me all the problems and all the reasons why it wasn't a good idea and why he shouldn't have done it. And he explained it to me perfectly. He really said everything. I couldn't say anything else. And so I'm like, so I walked, kept on walking. And my wife's like, tell him, speak to him, explain to him. So I said, I don't know what to tell him. He told me everything. And I realized, I don't know if it was then, but I realized after that this is Das. He doesn't, he doesn't have Das. He knows everything. He has the Chachma and the Bino, but he doesn't have the Das. He's not connected to the idea. And so too, when we're learning. And so too, that's why he's saying here, kids aren't punished. Even though they can know everything, they can have the Chachma and the Bino. They can understand the Halachas, but they don't have the Das. They don't, don't feel it. And, and so too, when we learn chassidus, 
We have to make sure not just to have the Chachma and the Bina. It, it, that's important to get to that level, but, but don't stop there and have the Das, sense it, feel it, connect with it, and say, what, how does that, how, like, what's an example that I can, I can understand this well, like I can feel this? Yeah, for he doesn't recognize or feel the essential aspect of the mitzvahs. Accordingly, regarding vows and declarations of cons consecration, our sages teach if a person vowing and consecrating knows for whom sake he has vowed or has concentrated, namely God, then he's binding. So too, that's why in halacha, if you're making a vow, if you understand, that's why the halacha is if you know who you're doing it to, meaning you have that das, and then you can do it. Similarly, in all the concerns, a child may show a keen understanding of monetary matters and prestige. It, you know, kid can understand these concepts of money and you know, honor and things like this. Nevertheless, the true significance is foreign to him. Since unlike an adult, he cannot discern and dissent him. He doesn't have, why doesn't the kid, you know, you, why don't you trust the kid with, with certain things, even though he can tell you and he shows you understand, it's because you know he doesn't, doesn't really understand, he doesn't appreciate it. That's what he's saying here. It's the same thing, a kid doesn't have this appreciation. Since unlike an adult, he cannot discern and sense them. The same applies to the opposite qualities, namely loneliness and poverty. Whereas a child, an adult can sense these shortcomings very clearly, the child thoroughly understands that demerits cannot. So a child, even they can understand the difference between being rich and poor, he doesn't, doesn't really get it. He doesn't get it properly. And, and that's Das. He doesn't have the Das. And this is the point he's trying to give across, that, that Das is a very important factor. And he's, he's really telling to us what it is. Just like a kid doesn't have the Das, and we can all understand that, and we can think about it and then come to understand it. So too, we have to realize, we don't, we don't want to be children when it comes to Chassidus. Don't be Das. Das and mercy, page 56 in the middle. Yeah, this is the reason for cruelty. It stems from a lack of empathy. Though a person understands the plight of another, it doesn't resonate with this soul. Oh, this is kishmak. Meaning, why is there cruelty? Because the person can, doesn't, doesn't appreciate, doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't have the das, he doesn't connect with, with idea. He does, uh, whatever. He, he listens, he or she listens, and that's it. As a result, he has no, he has no compassion for his fellow. A compassionate person truly feels the other's humiliation. And on account of this, feels compassion for him. Accordingly, it is written elsewhere that since mercy stems from Das, mercy and Das are aligned with one another. Yeah, in the mercy and Das, they go in the same kav. There's like chesed, there's the chesed kav, there's a gavur kav, and there's tferes kav. So he's saying tferes and mercy, tferes. Yeah, chachmo, bino, das, they all come together. The quality of Das is Das spiritual, is Das is that spiritual sense perception associated with understanding. Regarding Eub, it is similarly written, he speaks with that das, i.e. Eub did, didn't sense the truth of the subject about which he spoke. When he spoke, he understood it, but he didn't sense it. For if he had, how could he have said such a thing? Yeah, I don't know the top of my head, and I'll check it up, and maybe tell you next time what he's referring to. He senses the matter that he understands through a bond, yeah, through a bond, thar, um, so strongly affixed to his das, the subject. So what we're saying is that this is this is an important lesson in life, and uh, you know, my and I've been thinking. We thought about this a lot. So I'm not, I don't. Maybe this was where I got it from. I didn't really pay attention to it at the time. But when you speak to somebody, the 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 key to having a proper conversation. Is to understand them. Have and, and what's das is to fill their issues. This famous story of the Mitzvah Rebbe. Uh, no, sorry, the Rebbe Ashab and his brother the Raza. They were playing the Rebbe and Chassid, and the Rebbe Ashab. The so Rebbe Ashab was being the Chassid, and the Raza was being the Rebbe. So the Rebbe Ashab asked him a question. So the Raza answered straight away. He answered, and the Rebbe Ashab said, "You're not a Chass You're not a. You're not a Rebbe." I think that's how it goes. Because you're not a rabbi. So he said, why? Well, well I, I answered your question. He goes, because before you answer, you have to give a crash. So you have to go, oh. And this is sort of the story. The rabbi really feels the person's pain. And that's what he was saying. And this is what he's saying. Das is, is, is being able to be compassionate to a person. Empathy. Empathy is an important thing. You know, I talk about it now a lot. But empathy is essentially, when someone's talking to you, a lot of time what we do is we think about an answer or, or 
we say, no, but don't do it. Don't think about it. You know, someone's coming, they're complaining, they have an issue. So you come and you say, you try to answer them. You're not being empathetic. The first thing you do is being, being empathetic. Have, to have this dust, have this feeling and say, let me understand what you're saying. Let me show you I understand what you're saying. And once you do that, the person's problems will be infinitely less. And then they'll be a lot more open to listen to what you say. You know, and a lot of times we have, like, my wife and I have conversations, but I just need to be understood. I just need you to have dust, you to, to connect with what I'm saying. And when a person feels that way, it changes everything. And that's also a lot of times when people go listen to therapy. A lot of times what the therapist will do will make you feel understood in what, you're, in what you're going through and you'll feel so much better already. And then also you have that clarity to move past it. A lot of the issues just is because we don't have, we don't feel understood. We don't feel, we feel like we're alone in this. When you have a DAS and the person has that empathy, then, then it helps them move on. And this, is, and this is more explaining DAS, but DAS is that connection that you have. You have to have, you have, to have DAS within your learning and things like this. Yeah. We'll uh, stop here and then we'll finish it on Monday. We're at the bottom of 56, sensation of love and all. And we'll keep on discussing more details of Das and all the levels of Das and what it means. Huh. No, okay, I'll close the recording. Everyone have a great Shabbos and we'll continue Monday at uh, 7.45.